the cellular standard when it was originally said it was really focused on mobile phones and making calls. There were a few companies and they were working to just develop something that you could take, talk on the phone, like just voice. Then internet on the phone became important and internet came from the IT world, which had a different way of working. And is, for the first time, you had a global standard. Those two industries had to collaborate together. And now 5G, the network is faster. For the last few years, you have many more industries collaborating because they need to. Like the automotive industry, the telecom industry, the IT, the robotics, there's so many other industries that have to collaborate to make a product really work and really perform at the highest level. You actually are very dependent on something that is standardized around the globe. And because it's standardized, you have to work with many different companies around the world who provide the technology. So I worked for 20 plus years at Ericsson, a telecommunication company. And in Ericsson, the whole technology development was evolving. And I learned a lot about how to create a new technology, how to work with other companies. And during my experience at Ericsson, we were licensing from Ericsson to many companies. With Internet of Things, with the automotive industry, with all the verticals, it became clear to me that you could do bilateral deals, you could do one-on-one -on -one deals, and that could work. But imagine there are so many companies, so many players. The technology is going into so many different industries. There is a more efficient way to share this technology with, with other companies. And that's the whole idea behind Avanci. So what Avanci does is we have brought together companies who have invented the technology and the cellular standards, we have brought them together into our platform as licensors, and they're licensing their technology in one single agreement. On the other side of our platform are the automakers, the licensees, and they access all of that patented technology with one signature in one agreement. And so essentially we're a one-stop shop. We are working on many different verticals where we see technology is improving. Like, you can think about a company who is producing any kind of devices. If they have connectivity, they like our model because our model is very simple. They don't have to talk to 60 companies. They talk to us. It's a huge uh, value because they don't want to waste their time. We established a marketplace for licensors and licensees and showed that a joint licensing solution can work for the telecom and automotive industry. But now with our 5G program, I, we're doing it for the second time with the automotive industry and already we have more than 60 licensors in the first month of the program. So the introduction of 5G for the car is actually very exciting. And the promise of 5G is higher bandwidth, uh, connectivity basically with almost everything. And that means cars communicating with other cars, cars communicating with infrastructure, cars communicating with traffic lights, and the ability even to sideload data from the vehicle in an ad hoc manner while driving through urban areas. In automotive, I think most of us know that our vehicles are rapidly becoming cloud-connected uh, computing platforms. So we're entering into this era that we call the software-defined vehicle. And this transition is, at its root, also being enabled by technology innovation. So we see this innovation really across uh, every aspect of technology, semiconductors, sensors, software, cloud and services. And it's not just innovation that's happening within the vehicle, it's really the entire transportation system that surrounds the vehicle. The infrastructure that the vehicle operates within, how vehicles are designed and how vehicles are manufactured. And lastly, 5G will enable even more connected services. Things like predictive maintenance, things like CV2X services, charging experiences when you bring your vehicle to the charging station. So these are three of the areas that are being transformed by 
by 5G uh, in the connected car. There is this collaboration which has to work even more than before. If we have an innovation, many inventors, many companies creating the technology and other companies uh, implementing the technology, creating other innovation on top of that technology, th that metrics is a place where you could create much more efficiency. Of course, we will see an aftermarket program. We already have a 4G aftermarket program, but we will continue to um, extend our offer for new IoT verticals beyond vehicles. We will look at smart uh, devices in agriculture or in smart cities, uh, retail, healthcare, and we will just broaden our simple and efficient licensing solutions for other verticals within IoT. The future of 5G and Avanced together is basically endless. 5G is the cellular connectivity that is accelerating the most over the next five years. So we will see uh, cellular adopted in IoT for higher data rates, uh, sending more data, and for basically for having all these connected devices in, in a dense area. We are intermediary. We are in the middle of the technology. So we are in the heart of the technology. And the most important thing for me is the technology keeps moving forward. It is the hardest thing because you have to know what the state of the art is and you have to do better. If you recognize and reward innovators, they will continue innovating. The best thing they can see is that it's been used by someone. That's the best.